this is the third time I've had to do this introduction. So I'm not going to do the introduction. Instead, I'm going to stand here angrily while I try to figure out why my microphone and computer refuses to work. Be right back to see if that went up. And yes, this is the introduction. Good news, it works. Okay, welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. In the last episode, we found Jahani and stopped her from tainting the grove or whatever nonsense. This episode, we're going to explore Dantooine a little bit more. Now, I was hoping to have something happen with Mission and Karth, but it didn't happen, so it'll happen later. So instead, we're going to switch out for Kandras. And we're going to upgrade them. Because now that I have a Jedi robe, my armor is still very good, so Karth will get that. And Kandras... We'll get Davik's warsuit. And they both need to be leveled up. This is the third time I've had to level them up, so I already know exactly what I'm going to do, so no nor do I care to tell you. So just watch. I'm guessing it's not very fun to watch a grumpy LP here, so I stop being grumpy now. So after we give him strength to toughen him up, you get plus one for vitality every time you level up. And whatever, you get more, obviously. Once you upgrade more. Feats, we're going to toughen Karf up. Except. And we are almost on our way. Come on, thank you. We can upgrade Karf's. I mean, Candorus is blaster. I think we might be able to upgrade armor, but I'm not sure. No. Okay. Let's get a move on. So yeah, I'm about halfway done with the Galaxy movie. Just to let you know. Um, still waiting on Michael Bemis's lines and possibility of a cameo from someone else, but I'm not saying who. So I'm waiting on that. Um, that's pretty much it. And we're loading, and we're loading, and we're loading. Alright, well, let's see what we can do on Dantooine. Ooh, look up in the sky. It looks like a giant stingray flying through the sky. You know what stingrays remind me of? Someone they killed on one of my favorite TV people. Evil stingrays. You should know who I'm talking about. Right guys? You don't watch TV, do you? Especially good natural show TVs. Two are jerks. Let's get a move on. And let's get a move on, and let's get a move on. I should stop saying let's get a move on. Say other words. More intelligent words, perhaps. So what can we do? I guess we haven't gone through this entrance yet, so... We'll go through here. Got my lightsaber and my sword. Yeah, I'm ready to kick butt. What do we have over here? Another evil stingray! Oh, I guess some Mandalorians too. You've been holding out on us again. If you haven't given us enough money, I guess we're gonna have to take it out of you piece by piece. No! Please! Take my wife and children instead! Anything! Jerk! <laughs> you deserve that! Uh, sort of. Wife and children. Evil stingray! Fine, we're just going to leave him alone and have fun because that guy was a jerk and coward and... Andrews, Carf, what are you two doing? Oh, they're leaving us alone. Okay. I want to talk to you. Are we glitching out here? Fine then, I attack first. Get over it. 
Yeah, that'll show ya. That boy in your head. Yeah, I'll teach you a lesson. But you won't learn because you're dead. Don't worry, they're all just passed out like us. They'll get up in a few seconds. They're not getting up, are they? We killed them. Yay! No. Okay, let's just get going. Oh, please don't glitch out on me. This is what happened last time. Look, there's a Metalli's house or Sandrills. I don't remember at the moment, nor do I care. Now I'm wondering if it would be a good idea to live in a Star Wars house, but I have no idea since we're not part of the Star Wars universe. Blah, 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 blah. Do, 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 do. Oh, I know it. So close. Oh, now it's time to show you a new trick. Press attack. And you jump. Now we attack him. You keep on attacking. Life already. And now we're going to do the same thing over here. What great commentary! Oh well. Like this actually is a tougher part of, for you, no matter what you choose for crosswise, because either way, once you get out of your armor, you realize how weak you actually are. But luckily, you'll start learning force techniques, and soon we'll be able to deal with that. So, you could skip this part and go off somewhere else. But you need leveling up eventually. I said before that the level that the game usually goes at your level, but you need to level up a little bit before you can go do whatever, wherever. I can't give anything away right now. Because somebody might have not seen this game before is watching this for the first time. I highly doubt it. And once again, we have the evil stingrays. And I'm going to save right here for a third time. And hopefully this will work this time. Here it is! Let's go! Here what is? Die! Ah, red, white, and blue everywhere. It's America. You gotta love it. That'll show you. Get over it, we're bigger than you. <laughs> well, now speaking not about nationalities, which is not actually that important, let's get on to killing people for profit or for justice or for whatever reason we can think of. Down you go. Oh great. I'm so going to die like last time because I can't handle it. Then unlike before I don't care. Except for this time I do because look how close we are. Candras Carf you two are idiots. Okay everyone focus on the Mandalorian. Kandris, forget about the alien. Fight the Mandalorian. Wow. Ah, how'd you like that? You asked for this! Ah, look at Karth dying! Ha ha! Okay, now kill them from afar, please. Karth, come on! Shoot him, very good. Very nice. Oh, and now I'm alive. Yes. Oh yeah, I'm ready for battle. I missed it all. And there goes the evil stingray.
Yeah. Yeah. That just proves that we beat them. Ooh, wow, look at how much force that uses up and how little I actually get out of that. But it'll soon change and be well worth it. Ugh. That will be a lifesaver. All your med packs will soon become useless. But I still suggest you buy them. And who do we have here? Bullock! I'm calling you Buck. My book. What do you want, Buck? Look at that beautiful waterfall and the lack of me. <laughs> Sorry, that's another old thing, so I can't bring it up. What do you want me to do, book? These are great shots. Oh, there's the evil man today. Mocking me. Actually, I've been waiting a long time to do this part. Is there anything else I should do? I mean, no. Sorry. Boy, the sun is now blaring in. So beautiful here. I'm ignoring what he says completely because I know exactly what he's saying. Okay, we got two people. Both claim they killed the other person. What the person who looks like he's decaying way too fast. So, I see him first, so I'm going to talk to Rickard, who left off. I'm going to call you Rick. Another Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. He seems stumped. Maybe. I'm Rickard Lusoff. Tell me what happened. Well, I was out hunting Eriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. Uh -huh. So I shoot it, and it drops. I walk over here and find Handed standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner Handed to the prison he belongs in? Can't send him to prison. We don't have any proof yet. Your story's not matching up. 
Now let's see the other guy. There he is. Ah, greetings. You must Talking be from afar. Mr. Baluk in his investigation. I'm Handon Gould. Perhaps you've heard of me? No. Well, I presume you wish to hear my story then. I shall tell you, of course, but there's not much to it. I'm sure that you'll agree that Rickard is quite obviously guilty of murder. You see, I was out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I do that a lot. Can't stand speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway, I was out running on the other side of that bridge there, and all of a sudden I heard a shot coming from over here. I ran over and found this man, Calder, lying on the ground, dead. Did you see the killer? I saw Rickard come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river. I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the enclave right away. Well, there. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on with my day. Interesting. Well, there's a droid over here. Let's talk to the droid. Greetings, Padawan. You must be the one Master Baluk has enlisted to help him with this problem. I am an information retrieval droid. I can assist you by accessing the records of both the Jedi Enclave and the central government facilities here on Dantooine. If you have any need of my services, please do not hesitate to talk to me. I have already retrieved some information from the archives on Cold Anetic, Ricard Lusoff, and Handan Gould. I have also had time to examine the body of Mr. Netic. Is there any information you require? What did you find about the body? My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by a single energy blast to the torso. Is there any other information you need? Okay. What about these planes? These planes are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Iriars are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Calf hounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by calf hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago to carry a weapon at all times when on the plains. Small farms and holdings dot the plains and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? Uh, no more questions. Very well. I will be here to... So, this is what we got so far. Uh, let me see. Rick over here was hunting and he fired off a shot because of the glaring sun. And he shot somewhere around where... Let me see. I forget the names. I get them mixed up so easily. Oh, we'll call them... Han. Why well, Han was running. He, Rick, however, and Han found the body dead after Rick fired the shot. Seems quite suspicious that Rick shot him. Uh, either on accident or on purpose. However, there is one major flaw that I can see and should be glaring you in the face. But, the, even that was a Pint. Let's talk to Book. I want to discuss the murder. That's why I said. Yep. Oops, sorry, I do not mean to do that. Rick is lying. Uh, actually, I want to consider. I want to look for something. Let's try Hammond's oh. line. Fat people always lie. That's what I've been looking for. <laughs> uh, that's sort of funny, but you should really be serious about this, no? I know who's lying now. That was just a joke. Rick is indeed lying. It was cloudy. There was no sun glare. 
Dolfa da Bonqualeo Gondona Chuchu Kachichu Ita Dundonga Yumalita Kuto Tun Chilamulan and Nindu Bobo Wonga Kumbis Chang Ba Mulera Takunju Stak Niki Grabble Mogo Kachichu Ita Bodunga Dolba Bank Waleo Ganda Nalu Chuchut Mogesha Punga Bola Wana Chik Mule Slimo, Puda Nanga, Kumbis, Mule Rabes, Kachikun, Ida Hodonga, Yikin Kuno, Ba Mule Rachikun, Slimo Podona, Rundi Hodonga Ku, Unkabe, Mujashat Bakat, Kiyinuno, Nama Baule Rachikun. Okay, now we gotta figure out what do they know about him. So let's first talk to Han. Why not? How can I be of further assistance? Did you know the victim? I knew him a little bit, but I was not any sort of great friend to him or anything. I never really associated with him that much. In truth, I didn't really want to. He had a reputation. A very inconsiderate of family, I heard. But merely having heard unkind things about someone wouldn't make me want to kill him. No one says you've killed him. Yet. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting a bit agitated. Why must we remain here? Can't you see that Rickard must have shot him? I wanted to ask you something else. How can I be of further assistance? Why would someone want to kill him? Um, well, you see, Calder was involved in some pretty sordid business from time to time. More often than not, I've heard. Disreputable business practices, even more disreputable clients. I've even heard he had dealings with a hut. A hut here on Dantooine. Now, I bet you're wondering if I had any reasons to kill the man, but I tell you, I hardly knew him. I saw him once or twice, yes, and I've heard some pretty unkind things about him, but certainly nothing that would make me want to kill him. I want to ask you something else. How can I be of further assistance? Uh, why are you holding his side? Are you injured? In injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bantha. <laughs> I run. I don't know if I mentioned that. Yeah, I'm gonna go for now. Of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Okay, so so far it doesn't sound like you knew him at all. So, what do you want to know? Uh, a book said you're limping. Are you hurt? Might well. as well bring it up kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. Okay, fair enough. So? Did you know the victim? Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slime ball. Ooh. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be so... You got something here. Especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. We were actually business partners. We were involved uh -huh. in some orbit-to-ground transport operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? I should probably be the one to give the news to his wife. I wanted to ask you something else. So, what do you want to know? Why would someone want to kill him? We might as well bring it up. Evil Manta Ray. You Jedi are so predictable. Always seeing some greater purpose behind everything. And the simple answer is usually the right one. Can't you see that it must have been Handon? I found him standing over the damned body. I don't know why this is causing you so much trouble. You almost seem as lost as this Baluk guy. Suspicious! Right. But nothing to give solid evidence. So far he was a business partner, but that's it. I see no, no motivation. He claims he hasn't seen him. Hanson claims he hasn't seen him. Rick says that he was a partner, but that's it. So we're not going to talk to Book quite yet because obviously we don't know what we're doing. So let's Is talk to any Joy. Other information you need? You need real information. Tell me about Calder and Han. The Southwood Speeder rental business has records that over the past several weeks, a speeder had been rented by Mr. Netic and Mr. Gold. Is ah, Han claims he rhymes. We got him there. How about Ham, Calendar, and Rick? 
According to the municipal authorities near the Garen spaceport, there had been news of violent drunken activity in the cantina attached to the Ooh. port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Netic about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tuka was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any other information you need? No. Very well. Well, this is new information. Oh, Rick, you got a lot of explaining. Uh, Han, I'll I mean, you further Han, further. you got a lot of explaining to do. You knew Keller better than you met. You rented a speeder with him. But I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder, true. I would punch his face in, given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. Whoa! Punch his face in? Why? My wife was cheating on me with him. He slept in my own bed while I was in the next room. But, Dare. as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. No, that's all for now. Of course, of course. Whoa, that's major motivation. Oh, Rick. So, what do you want to know? You thought Calder was cheating you. Now, I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and transport company out of Garang Spaceport. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years, and we've been doing just fine the way we are. Well, I can't deny it. There's some bad blood for it between you. Right. Interesting. We have all the information we need. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to discuss the murder. Yeah, Rick lied. You have their business partners, however, I told you that. Oh, no, 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 no. Han is lying. He knew his wife was cheating on him. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's talk to them about the murder, huh? Again with him. How can I be of further assistance? What do you know about the weapon that was found by the body? That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. Now it's fast. I have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous cath hounds around. Even an Eries can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most yeah, appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be of further assistance? Yeah. Bye. Of course. So he claims his weapon was stolen. Interesting. So, what do you want to know? What about the weapon? That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. He had this one really nice light blaster rifle that he always used. Always wished I could get myself a rifle like the one he had. Ichani's make delicate weapons with too little firepower. Lightweight stuff, if you ask me. That Thanks, Candorous. So Calder only had the one rifle, too. So he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else's. Hmm, okay. Right. I sort of believe him about the weapon so far. But he claimed it was stolen, so we might as well figure out what the report was. Is there any other information you need? Tell me about Hendon's blaster being stolen. 
I am sorry, but I seem to be failing you. I have searched and searched, but I cannot seem to come up with anything at all. I thought to find the record of the missing weapon report Mr. Gould filed with the authorities, but there does not seem to be one. Is there any other information you need? I'll be going now. Very well. Interesting. Usually, when people have something stolen, especially something that precious, they send a report to the police, mainly for insurance. That is basic justice stuff. He did not. Is there any other information? No, 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 no. These planes are rife with wild animals. No. Nope. Oh, sorry, wrong button. Very well. I will. Okay. Now let's talk to Han over here. How can I be of further assistance? Um, let's see. That blaster was stolen. Hardly up. Even in, I would most appreciate. How can I be a further? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You lied. Of course. Book. Discuss. It's Hamden. He lied about it being stolen. Okay, let's look at the blood sample. We might as well forget about these two people. Is there any other information? Tell me about the blood. I have just received back an analysis of a sample of the blood found on the weapon. It had been sent back to the end just before you arrived. The blood on the weapon is definitely not called us. Unfortunately, there was a bacterial contaminant in the sample that had been taken back to the laboratory. And we cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample other than the fact it did not belong to Korda. Is there any other information? Really? Huh. Very well. Well then, we're gonna need to talk to you guys. So, what do you want? Never mind. Right. You're limping, that's nothing. You, however, are holding your side. How can I be of further assistance? Even though it doesn't look like it. Your side, are you injured? Never mind, never mind. Of course. Man, I'm going way too dramatic. We're gonna have to talk to Book over here. Yeah, you know, I wanna discuss it. It didn't belong to the victim. But which one? It is Ham's blood. Why? He's clutching his side. Hey, 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 what are you doing? No! 